Okay, working on my 2012 Rev E-Tech 800R. It's just the MXZ. Um, the problem I'm having is the gauges were going dead when I hit the brake. And the headlights at first were just going dim and then they started to go out completely. So it's a major problem I had to figure out, get to the bottom of it. It's frustrating. Ripped the whole sled apart. Um, chasing everything down reading all the forums and everything and finally came up with the problem on this sled anyway i popped the back tail light out the uh tail light is just held in by grommets there's no screws so i would lube it up get it warm if you can in a garage um i was able to spray some wd-40 on top of it which got into the grommets so i didn't break the grommets uh, I was thinking that maybe the taillight bulb itself was shorted so I popped that out and then there's a little tie wrap right here that holds your wire harness on so it's kind of a pain to cut that off but you'll get in there with a small utility knife blade or or something anyway you can work at it without hurting your wires and you'll get that tie wrap off and this is what I found finally found the problem on this sled the wire is chafing right to ground. It chafed right through the conduit and it was shorting out directly. So now it's an easy fix, but uh, when you're out riding on the trails and everything's going crazy and your sled won't work and you're going into a corner and you got no headlights, it's a major problem. So uh, hopefully maybe this will help someone else out I know it was a real pain for me to find it and uh, this sled doesn't have electric start a lot of people are talking about the relays being an issue but from what I've been reading and from what I found on my sled if they're there I don't know where they are the little ice box ice cube relays I the ones you can get at Napa I don't I don't see the relays on the 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 uh, pull start e-tech this is a 2012. I mean, I looked everywhere I can see. I don't see one. Um, but hopefully this helps some of you guys out. But I know it's a, it's a real pain when this happens. All right, good luck fixing your sleds. Have a good one.